Hey friends, thanks for joining me. My name is Sarah and today we are talking about all the things that I loved in the month of January. I wanted to film this video because I really wanted to start sharing more, um, I wouldn't really say necessarily well-rounded content, but you know, just sharing a little bit more outside of just, uh, just talking about books, which don't get me wrong, I love to talk about books. However, there are so many other things that I wanna share too. So I thought I would start doing a different kind of a monthly wrap-up video. I'm gonna post my uh, January reading wrap-up as well, but today's video is actually going to be um, just like a wrap up that tells you everything I was loving in the month of January. I thought this would be kind of a fun way to kick off the closure of the first month of this already crazy year. How is that? We are 31 days in and I'm already like losing my ever loving mind. I don't know guys. Uh, Anyway, let's just talk about the stuff that I loved. So besides my kid, I basically have three loves. Um, that's books, a little bit of makeup, and basically food. So those are kind of the three things that I wanna talk about today. The first one is books. Now, I'm not gonna say this was my favorite book of the month. It may have been, but Specifically what I'm talking about here is Blake Crouch. He is the author of Upgrade. This is obviously a book of the month copy. Um, at the beginning of the month, I kind of fell down the Blake Crouch rabbit hole. Um, I listened to Dark Matter, which is the red, the all red cover. Um, I listened to that one on Libby and I loved it. It was so like, the two that I've read so far are very technical, very science heavy, but I just, I love the storyline. And really I have a lot of admiration for him because I don't know how much research he had to do to like, f to learn all of the, you know, ins and outs of DNA and science and biology and all these different things um, to actually be able to write the books, but, uh, hats off to him. Both of these were phenomenal. Um, as I said, Dark Matter is the one that's all read. I listened to that one on uh, Libby. I read this one um, a couple weeks ago. And then because I loved these two so much, I actually ordered a copy of Recursion, which is the yellow cover um, that's coming in my book of the month for the month of February. So um, definitely found a new author for me. It is an automatic purchase. Now, uh, five stars, five very strong stars strong stars for both of the Blake Crouch books that I have read so far. Um, the next reading adjacent thing that I want to talk about is my Kindle. Now, yes, I love my Kindle cover and I think it's super cute. Um, I got it on Amazon for just a few dollars. I think I've shared that before. I think it was like $6.99 or $12.99 or something. Um, and it's held up really well. Um, I've, I've had my Kindle for um, just about a year and a half now, and I mentioned that uh, in my goals video that I had not used my Kindle as much as I thought I was going to and as much as I wanted to. My goal for this year is to read at least, um, is to average one Kindle book per month. So. I, I realize that's kind of a low bar to set, but last year I only read eight books on my Kindle for the entire year. So if I bump it up to one per month, that's 12. So that's, you know, like a 50% increase. So I feel like we'll be doing okay. Um, I did read one book on my Kindle this month, which again, I will talk about in my January wrap up. Um, but really what I wanna talk about today in this video is just that I love having the option to have my Kindle with me all the time. I love, you know, being able to, what I've done now 
is I've downloaded several books onto my Kindle. And so, you know, so I don't have to just be stuck in the one book that I'm reading. Um, I have found a source for cheap ebooks. I hope that's not gauche to say, but um, I, I have found a source for some cheap ebooks. And so I get an email every day or every couple of days and they say like, here are the offers, you know, that are for right now. And so I'll go through them and I don't always get something, but you know, I'll look through the ones that a lot of them are free or some of them are like 99 cents or $1.99. And I feel like for me, those are better options just because I'm still getting used to the Kindle. And, um, you know, I, I, right now I feel like I don't want to spend a ton of money on eBooks if it's going to be something that later on I want in physical book form. So while I'm trying out a bunch of new authors um, and just kind of getting into the motion of using my Kindle, um, I'm loving this source for really cheap ebooks and I'm loving, like I said, just downloading a bunch to my Kindle and then I have options um, for when I'm on the go and you know, when I just wanna have something with me, uh, I've got lots of options just in one little Kindle. Next, I wanna talk about a couple of makeup type items that I am loving. And um, the first one is actually something that I have been using for uh, over a year now. This is the Strawberry Lip Mask from 4th Ray Beauty. Um, that's the sister of ColourPop. And I love this little thing so much. I use this not just at night, but I use this all day, you know, all throughout the day, and it has lasted me forever. I still have probably well over a third of the jar left. Um, here's the only problem that I have with this. Um, because it is 4th Ray Beauty, I have logged directly onto the 4th Ray website, and I it used to be where you could get to the 4th Ray or their products from logging onto the ColourPop website, and I can't find a way to do that anymore. So I've looked for this on the ColourPop site, I've looked for it on the 4th Ray site, um, and it always shows me that it's out of stock. The only place where I have found this in stock is directly on the Ulta website. Um, and so they have strawberry, they have watermelon, and they have coconut. And strawberry is the only one that I've tried. It's amazing. I think I am going to order a watermelon next. I don't care for coconut, um, so I think I am gonna try a watermelon next just to try it out, but I'm sure it will be awesome because I really, really love the strawberry one. Since we're in that general region of lips, um, I wanna share the lip, uh, what do you call this, not lipstick? Lip paint, lip. Oh my God, why can't I think of this? Liquid lipstick, Sarah. Wow, I told y'all it was a hard month. <laughs> um, this is the liquid lipstick that I am wearing today. And I do love this one. This is by KVD, uh, although it was Kat Von D when I got it. Uh, and this is in the shade K-Dub. It's this beautiful like purple kind of fuchsia color. And I do love this color specifically, but really I just want to talk about my ever present love of the bold lip. I think there's no wrong time for like bright red lipstick or purple or you know, just whatever it is that you wanna wear. I love a bold lip and uh, I just think, you know, neutral and natural is totally fine, but I really, really love a bold lip and I have been wearing that a lot more this month because I have uh, restarted, again, I'm a glutton for punishment, but I have uh, recommitted to the Lip Service Project Pan. And so I've got some bold lipsticks in there, some bold colors and some bold lip liners. So I kind of dove right back in and have been wearing a lot of bold colors and bold lipstick and have really, really been getting some compliments from it. So I'm remembering again how like just really, really good that makes me feel. So there you go. If you love a natural lip, wear that if that's what you love and that's what makes you feel good. But for me, 
I love a bold lip. The next kind of, I don't know if we want to call this a beauty item. This is um, a beeswax salve, and it is from a company called the Savannah Bee Company. I found this a little shop um, that was the Savannah Bee Company in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and um, this one is in the scent Spearmint. They also have one that's lavender, and then another one that's like, I want to say ginger or something. It's a little bit more earthy. I can't remember. This one is so delicious. It smells so good. Um, and the reason I bought this, so it says on the side here, um, it is a it is made from beeswax, and it says it's for hands, feet, cuticles, and elbows. Um, this salve is amazing. I have terrible eczema on my hands and when we were in um, the Gatlinburg area for Christmas, um, my hands were cracked and dry and so incredibly painful and I used a sample of this in the store so it's like right on the strip that's in uh, Gatlinburg where all the different shops and restaurants are um, and they have a website as well so I'm gonna try to remember to link the uh, the website um, in the description box because if you have eczema or if you get just horribly dry cracked skin in the winter you need to try this out I when we came home I, my fingers were just so raw. And the, the other problem too is I wash my hands all the time. So, um, so my hands just get so dry so quickly and I put this on at night, just a few nights in a row, probably three or four nights in a row, and my hands felt 200% better. Now, I will say it it is a little bit greasy right at the very beginning, but if you'll give it like, two-ish minutes, it will soak into your skin, and so it doesn't leave a greasy residue for very long. Um, it is beeswax, so it's wax, um, but it's really, really nice, and it smells amazing, um, and if you have eczema or you get horribly dry, cracked skin in the winter, uh, you gotta check this company out. They have lots of other products as well, um, but that was what I picked up, and uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. Okay, next we're kind of on the food and beverage portion of the program, and I'm just going to mention this because I've already talked about it in two videos, and you guys are just going to stop watching if I talk about it all the time, but I'm still loving my Stanley. It's amazing, and I just absolutely love it. Um, and now, so this one is like the hard metal one, uh, and I love the color, it's beautiful. Obviously I have a thing for green, but um, now I kinda want one of the soft matte ones. Now they have the ones that are like that NARS packaging, you know, that soft matte packaging. I don't need it. I know that I don't need it. My husband would not be thrilled if I came home with another cup, but they're so pretty. <laughs> okay, let's stop talking about that. We got to move on because, like I said, you guys are going to stop watching. Uh, there is another beverage, however, that I have discovered that I love. Actually, I just realized the next two products that I'm going to talk about are both from Aldi. If you don't have an Aldi, oh man, I feel really sorry for you. I always say I don't go to Aldi for real food. I go to Aldi for snacks and like for the off the wall stuff that I can find. Now, Aldi is a real grocery store and I know plenty of people who do all of their shopping at Aldi and it is a great store with really, really good prices. Um, but I like, We've tried the meat from there, and my husband doesn't love it, um, but they're great. I'll tell you what, if you love a charcuterie board, they have prosciutto and salamis and like 75 different kinds of cheeses and crackers and, you know, all of the accoutrements for um, a charcuterie board. They've got different types of olive oil and honeys, and I'm telling you, it is a charcuterie gold mine. Um, so check it out if you have one near you. But 
and I have gotten all of those things there as well. But the two things that I discovered this month that I'm totally loving, so I, t I mentioned that I was doing dry January, so every January I go totally off sodas, I don't have any Dr. Pepper, I don't even do like diet, uh, I go totally off of sodas, and every now and then I will allow myself to have a sparkling water, or as my son calls them, a sparkly water, uh, so I discovered this flavor this month and it is so good. So this is the Belle V, which it says pure aqua brand and I've only ever seen this at Aldi. So I don't know if that's just like their, um, their brand or if that's, uh, if that's just the only place local to me that carries it. But this is Belle V, um, sparkling water and this is in strawberry. Y'all, this is good. This is so good. It's much more flavorful. Now, it doesn't taste like a strawberry soda, okay? So it's not that like syrupy, sweet strawberry. It's not like that. You're not gonna mistake this for a soda. But, you know, some of those like LaCroix, you barely, you barely get any flavor at all. And that is not the case here. This one does have a good amount of flavor in it, but it's still zero everything. Like there's zero calories, no carbs, no sugars, no nothing. Um, my son has discovered that he really likes this. And so probably like once or twice a week, I'll let him have one with dinner. Um, but again, there's nothing in it. it it's carbonated water. Um, so yeah, so I will let him have one of these every so often. And I've had probably like maybe four this month. So again, that's averaging about one a week. Uh, so I feel really good about that. Um, and I just really, really like them. They, uh, I, I like that there's a little bit more flavor than like the LaCroix or your typical sparkling water, but I still feel good, um, you know, about drinking it. I may go back to drinking sodas. Listen, today's February 1st as I'm filming this and it has, the month has already started off not well. So I might be drinking something harder than a Dr. Pepper tonight. That's all I can really say. Um, but along with my grown up beverage that I may or may not have tonight, um, I might have a couple of these. These are like, they have a cult following in the Aldi groups. They are milk chocolate peanut butter cups and they're minis. So this is like just a bag of them, right? I'll show you how big they are. Um, Y'all, these are like, these are so dangerous. They are, I, the peanut butter to chocolate ratio to me is better than a Reese's. Um, there is more peanut butter in this than, you know, like with a Reese's, they give you a tiny little line of peanut butter in the center. Um, the peanut butter to chocolate ratio in these is better. The milk chocolate is really smooth and it's just delicious. For three pieces, which is usually what I eat, I'll have like two or three after dinner. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, usually in the evening, I'll have like two or three after I eat dinner. And three pieces is 170 calories. Now, they're not great, like, you know, fat and carbs wise. We know that. But if you're just counting calories, then it's 170 cals. Uh, 11 grams of fat and 16 total carbs, but one gram of fiber. So there you go. Um, for a little treat, I would say several times per week. I mean, I probably eat these most nights of the week, probably like maybe five nights out of the week I'm having peanut butter cups after dinner. Um, because I have a horrible sweet tooth I always have my whole entire life and I have not outgrown that as an adult. So um, these are a really good option for me. They're super economical because this whole bag is like $3.99. Um, and I yelled at my husband because uh, 
I saw him in the cabinet digging into these one day and I said, hey, those are mine. <laughs> so then like the next week, I went and bought us each a bag and uh, that way he can leave mine alone and I can have my whole bag to myself. Uh, but these are really, really tasty. And like I said, I don't feel bad for eating two or three a day. Um, I'm not counting calories currently. I'm just trying to keep active and keep moving and not go totally crazy. Um, I have pretty much cut out fast food and like I said, sodas. Um, so I don't feel bad about having a couple of pieces of chocolate at the end of the day. So uh, guys, that is everything that I have been loving this month. Um, I, yeah, I mean, like I said, it was kind of a heck of a month. It just seems like it was so long. Uh, but Tell me what you have been loving. I need some, like, I need some cheering up today. I'm, like I said, the month has started out a little bit rough already. I'm kind of feeling a little bit down. And we are on day three of being basically locked inside of our house because um, here in North Texas, we have had terrible ice storms for the last three days. So um, we've, my son and I have been locked inside for, um, basically since Sunday. On Sunday, the boys went to the farm and they, you know, took care of all the animals and everything. My husband went back out there again yesterday and took care of the animals, but I wasn't super comfortable with the roads and so I kept my son here with me. So he's going stir crazy because he just wants to go outside and play. I'm going stir crazy because I also just want him to go outside and play, but it's dangerous. Like there's ice everywhere. Um, and uh, you know, and then I got some like not awesome news first thing this morning. So I'm feeling a little bit down, so I thought I would just come on here and talk about things that I love, and hopefully that would pick me up. So I would love to know what you are loving right now and what is keeping you motivated through these gross days of the winter. Um, if you are south of the equator and you are having like an amazing summer right now, I'm incredibly jealous of you. Uh, but tell me about that too. Tell me what you're loving right now, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.